Hi, this is Andrew Bridgewater from andrewbridgewater.com with another mental health video from Larnaca in Cyprus. And uh, you can see I'm not claiming any great bragging rights on the weather today. It's cloudy uh, and overcast, occasional sun, but st still warm. And uh, I've just cycled up about a thousand feet to get here to, uh, to make this video. And in this short piece, I want to talk about the difference between a mental health and mental illness. Now, I think it's fair to say that much of the approach that we see out there, certainly in conventional medicine, is all about mental illness. It's all about treating the symptoms. And um, you pop in, you've got 10 minutes, all the doctor or practitioner can really do is write you out a prescription for something that may or may not work in the next three weeks. Um, and uh, I can remember this vividly, the doctor just saying, come back and see me in three weeks time. We'll see if it works. If it hasn't, we'll change to another one and we'll keep going until we find one that works. Now, that seems to be really haphazard and hit and miss to me and quite shocking, um, to be honest. And there is so much that I've learned about uh, mental health, which kind of runs in the opposite direction. It's looking down the other end of the telescope. So mental health starts with what do I need to do? to secure my mental well-being, my mental health. And there are some very simple things that you can do, which I'm going to talk more about in this series of videos. Um, one of those is to make some simple changes to your nutrition. And I've produced uh, an online course called Mood and Food, how to uh, deal with severe stress, depression and anxiety naturally. And uh, if only more conventional practitioners were talking about this because <laughs> the costs are minimal compared to uh, antidepressants, which may or may not work. And um, it, it's, it's life changing and you don't have to go back to get the help. Now, if you are taking antidepressant medication at the moment, please don't stop. Please take the advice of the practitioner who prescribed that medication in the first place. But do look into natural alternatives um, without the side effects. Um, there are a series of other things, including relaxing the mind and relaxing the body, which I'll talk more about in a future video, um, and also the psychology of mental health. And again, this is, this is not well talked about. As a chartered psychologist, I see so much about mental illness. There's uh, therapies like cognitive behavioural therapy, positive thinking, affirmations, DBT, all sorts of three-letter acronyms which are designed or supposed to alleviate stress, but actually don't get to the root causes. And when you understand how you're creating your personal experience of life, then you do begin to drop out of severe stress, anxiety and depression naturally. It doesn't happen immediately, but it is life-changing. It has been for me. So I'm going to say more about these uh, other uh, approaches, these approaches to mental health rather than mental illness in future videos. But I just wanted to kind of paint the big picture right now. So this is Andrew Bridgewater water from Larnaca in Cyprus at andrewbridgewater.com and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.